decisions, decisions. I'm not really sold on those lips. Hey, five luces, cinco luces. I just now, I, I mean, it took me a long time to, to figure out that your name was in Spanish. You dropped some hints and some clues. Uh, how's it going? It is going well. We're working on page no, number 24. I'm on panel number two. Uh, there are two uh, faces for Cleopas. Cleopas. I've heard Cleopas and I've heard Cleophas, because uh, the English pronunciation of PH is sound, and uh, I think something tells me that the Hebrew pronunciation of PH is uh, p sound, so, uh, but anyway, uh, I digress. Uh, interesting. So, this is the first face where Jesus is is laying down all the typology that, he, that he's that he's selling on the, the road to Emmaus and then this is the reaction what so he's only partially astonished here but then really astonished here so and then the same thing is going to happen to uh, unnamed disciple number two uh, he's going to be partially interested here and then extremely astonished here in the inside panel. So there you go. And then uh, they're so astonished they can't even pos they can't possibly walk. They can't continue walking. And then they have to catch up right here in the last panel. So there you go. That's what I'm working on. Cinco Luces says hi to Guts and the Beautiful. What's going on, Cinco? I'm not happy with this, I'm not happy, I'm not happy here, I'm not happy with. I'm not really sure. I thought I was going to be happy. I thought if I. Did this the way it was drawn, then I would be happy. But no. Is this right? That looks better. That looks better than before. Let's work on this side of beard. So, uh, can you tell me, Cinco Luces, uh, what does, is there a significance for, to the, uh, the five lights? I looked up five lights and 
uh, I have I found a bunch of different uh, references. So, what is the reference that you are using for your screen name? Can you stick with just Lucas for just or just say five? <laughs> okay. All right then. <laughs> Am I saying it wrong? Are you saying? Are you saying that I don't know how to pronounce Spanish? Are you saying I'm hurting your ears? The five are a number of members in my family. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Can you just stick with who says or just say five in English? All right, then. I did take two semesters of Spanish. Saying it right, but I just don't like people saying that. Okay. All right, then. I took two semesters of Spanish and I want to use my Spanish whenever I see Spanish, whenever I notice something is in Spanish. But then people, uh, the native speakers, get all upset. And I'm sorry, it's not my, it is not my, uh, my intention to upset you. I will use my language. My native, oh, not in my head. My head, nobody can see me. My native language. I took French for five semesters and five years in high school and one semester in, in college, but I never get to use my French. More people speak Spanish than the people who speak French. Since I'm bilingual, I like my name bilingual too. Just my, just your preference. Okay. Hey, you want to try your Spanish on me? It's fine. <laughs> uh, it's been a very long time. Uh, esta un, yeah, it's been a very long time. I can pronounce things in Spanish if I see them written, but speaking it uh, once upon a time I was uh, I was trying to use my Spanish and uh, I think I insulted someone's son. I did not mean to do that. So the father of the son, and this was in church, right? You don't want to, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to use your, your, your badly learned Spanish uh, on someone's kid in church. And then the father says, you should not speak Spanish. <laughs> All right then, I get it. No more Spanish. I understand. So. Maybe I should just stick to what he said, what he told me. I know how to speak it better than writing it, where my middle daughter can write it better than speak it. So she corrects my grammar and spelling. You can correct each other. No, that's how you say it. That's not how you say that. Well, that's not how you write that. 